लास्ट चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स सुपरपोजिशन ऑफ वेव्स सुपरपोजिशन ऑफ वेव्स टॉपिक नंबर सिक्स सुपरपोजिशन ऑफ वेव्स लेक्चर नंबर वन हियर फर्स्ट वी विल सी दैट इज व्हाट इज मीन बाय वेव्स लास्ट ईयर यू हैव स्टडीड नाउ हियर वी कंसीडर देयर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वेव्स दैट इज मैटर वेव्स साउंड वेव्स लाइट वेव्स we consider that is a mechanical waves then electromagnetic waves all these are the types of the waves these matter waves are associated with uh, matter sound waves these are longitudinal waves and associated with sound light waves these are also electromagnetic waves that is associated with light mechanical waves then electromagnetic waves these are some types of the waves now here wave means that is disturbance produced in an elastic medium due to periodic vibration of the particles okay wave means disturbance it is a disturbance or we consider periodic disturbance periodic disturbance of particles and for production of waves that is medium should be elastic it must possess inertia and frictional resistance of the medium should be very small now these particles uh, vibrates about their mean position and in this process energy and momentum are transferred energy and momentum are transferred from particle to particle now here that is a we consider here energy and momentum is transferred but no particles are transferred now here we consider these a uh, waves they are of the two types that is longitudinal and transverse that means when your uh, direction of vibration of the particle is parallel to the direction of propagation of the particle that wave that waves are called as longitudinal wave and sound waves are longitudinal in nature and when the direction of vibration of the particle is perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave then that waves are called as transverse wave now here we consider there are many more properties of the waves that is a uh, echo in case of the sound then reverberation reverberation doppler effect doppler effect interference all these are some uh, characteristic of the waves now here in this topic we are going to study that is superposition of the waves this is the name of our topic this is all about the introduction of this topic now we will consider next article progressive wave here is see that is progressive whenever wave travels in any direction or in a given direction then that wave is called as progressive wave that means disturbance travels from particle to particle in any direction then that wave you call it is a progressive wave and the properties of this progressive wave we will see one by one that is each particle in medium exhibit the same type of vibrations same type of vibrations and the particle vibrates about their mean position then second that is all vibrating particles in a medium have same same amplitude 
period and frequency this is the second property then third the phase changes from particle to particle so there is a phase change this is the third characteristic then no particle is permanently in rest each particle continue that is comes to rest momentarily and uh, goes to the extreme position also that is uh, we can see that here no particle permanently permanently in rest each particle comes at rest momentarily then at mean position mean position velocity of particle is maximum velocity is maximum and at extreme position velocity is minimum then during propagation of wave energy is transferred but there is no transfer of matter transferred but matter is not transferred then the wave propagates through the medium with a certain velocity we call it as a wave velocity then you can see the eighth characteristic progressive waves are of the two types that is longitudinal wave and transverse wave as we have already discussed then in transverse wave direction of the propagation of the direction of the particle is perpendicular to the direction of propagation and in longitudinal wave direction of particle is parallel to the direction of uh, that is parallel to the direction of propagation <coughs> these are some properties of the that is a wave now we will see next one that is a equation of this progressive wave can be given like this that is y x t is equal to we can write here a sin a sin omega t plus k x where a is amplitude k is the propagation constant omega is the angular velocity or we call it as a omega equal to we can write 2 pi n not angular velocity n be the frequency then omega equal to 2 pi n like this t be the time this is the equation of the progressive wave now we'll see next article reflection of waves reflection of waves here you see that is a <clears throat> waves are reflected from the surfaces if we consider about the sound waves then echoes production of echoes it is a very good example of reflection of sound waves suppose we consider <clears throat> here suppose we consider one x-ray suppose this is the reflecting surface and suppose we consider here this is the partition suppose we consider here we put the sound generator and suppose this wave travels like this and reflected from this point comes here here we can detect the sound sound detector that means wave travels like this angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection and to prevent the loss suppose you consider this wave travels through the pipe suppose this is the pipe and through this pipe this wave travels then we can detect the sound here now we consider suppose this is the pipe this is the pipe this is one experiment okay now we can say suppose second experiment suppose these are the two concave surfaces these are the two concave surfaces and suppose we consider here this is the focal point of the first surface this is the focal point of the second surface and suppose here we put the sound generator then we have travels like this like this here sound detector we have can be detected here your travels like this straight line 
here we can detect the sound this is also uh, that is a <coughs> example of the rx wind for reflection of the sound waves also we consider here another one suppose we consider a man is stand here and he create the sound then suppose we consider here this is the reflecting wall from this wall sound can be reflected suppose he produces the sound here then wave travels like this and again comes here this is the incident wave and this is the reflected wave now here we consider if this distance is either 70 meter or greater than it then that person can hear the two sounds that is original sound and reflected sound that means echo can be heard here you see this distance must be either 70 meter 70 meter or greater than it see here velocity of sound you know v is equal to 340 meter per second then its one tenth part is 34 meter per second now here suppose incident wave travels 17 meter and reflected wave also travels 17 meter then total distance covered by this wave is 34 meter or greater than it then only that sound can be differentiated because capacity of the human ear to distinguish the two sounds that is human ear can distinguish the two sounds only when time interval between them is either one tenth of second one tenth of second or greater than it see here one tenth of second that means uh, velocity of sound is 340 meter per second then its one tenth part is 34 meter per second then incident wave and reflected wave both covers 34 meter per meters distance then only sound can be detected this is all that is a production of echoes it is a very good example of reflection of sound waves now here we see that is a reflection of waves in this reflection we consider different cases we consider first that is two types of media are there that is denser denser and rear see here denser and rear in case of reflection of the waves we consider denser medium means suppose plane of this uh, blackboard or whiteboard or plane of blackboard any wall then that medium we call it as a denser medium because particles of that medium they are not free to vibrate not free to vibrate not free to vibrate Partic if whenever particles of the medium not free to vibrate then that medium is called as denser medium and suppose you can say a liquid surface then that we call it as a uh, rare medium rare reflecting medium because particles of that medium they are free to vibrate they can vibrate they can change their position so that may type of medium we call it as a rare medium that means first thing that is it is clear to you that is what is mean by denser this is not like a light in case of light in case of light you consider denser means denser means and rear denser means having high refractive index and low refractive index if we compare the two media then a medium whose refracting index is low we call it as a rear and a medium whose refracting index is high than it we call it as a denser then denser and rear you first see what is mean by denser and rear in case of the reflection of waves it is not like a light waves okay now we will consider here that is reflection of uh, uh, both that is reflection of transverse waves and reflection of longitudinal waves here we see at a time reflection of transverse waves and second one second one reflection reflection of longitudinal waves we will see one at a time these two articles see here reflection of transverse waves and reflection of longitudinal waves see here we consider here two types of velocities a velocity of the propagation of wave we call it as a wave velocity wave velocity we call it as a wave velocity velocity of the propagation of wave and second one particles in that wave vibrate simple harmonically and particle uh, velocity of that particle we call it as a particle velocity let me see in the wave we can see the two types of velocity wave velocity and particle velocity now here we see uh, that is uh, 
in case of the reflection of transverse wave suppose uh, we consider <coughs> this is the reflecting medium suppose this is the denser now suppose this is the incident wave and we consider here crust of the incident wave is reached first then we consider here same thing this is incident wave then what happens here wave travels in a reverse direction wave is reflected that means wave velocity is reversed and also particle velocity also reversed then crust is reflected as trough crust is reflected as trough that means denser for denser media and we consider here same thing suppose in the same diagram suppose in case of the incident wave suppose this is the incident wave and trough reach then trough is reflected wave travels in a reverse direction such as trough is reflected as crust now here you see we consider suppose rear reflecting medium rear this is for denser suppose this is the reflecting surface and suppose this is the incident wave incident wave and what happens suppose crust reaches first crust reaches first then what happens here particle velocity is, sorry wave velocity is reversed wave travels in reverse direction wave travels in reverse direction such as crust is reflected as crust that is here wave velocity is reversed but particle velocity is not reversed crust is reflected as crust suppose this is incident and trough reaches then trough is reflected as trough main thing that is here wave velocity is reversed but particle velocity is not reversed because particle of that medium they are free to vibrate they vibrate in the same direction and what happens they transfer the momentum in the same direction and so crust is reflected as crust trough is reflected as trough now we will see that is <coughs> reflection of longitudinal wave suppose this is the denser medium denser suppose this is the reflecting surface suppose we consider here this is compression rarefaction like this and here what happens we see suppose compression reaches first compression reaches first this is the rarefaction compression reaches this is the rarefaction okay this is the incident wave hmm. we consider suppose this is the incident wave like this compression reaches then what happens wave velocity is reversed particle velocity is also reversed wave travels in a reverse direction such as compression reflected as compression and rarefaction reflected as rarefaction Whenever compression reaches, compression reflected. Rarefaction reaches, then rarefaction is reflected. Suppose I will draw here next the diagram. Suppose this is the incident wave and rarefaction reaches. Okay. Incident. Then what happens? Here you see, rarefaction is, we get in the reflected wave, rarefaction. That means here, wave has to be worse, but particle has to is, remains in the same direction. Now here we consider suppose for rear reflecting medium. Suppose we consider here, this is the incident uh, reflecting surface, and this is the incident wave. Incident. This is the reflected. And suppose compression reaches first. Okay, compression reaches. Then what happens? That compression get absorbed in the dark medium, and in the reflected we get ray reflection. Or suppose you consider here, suppose rarefaction reaches, then incident, suppose this is the reflected, then rarefaction reaches, then compression is reflected. This is all about the reflection. Now you see, if we compare, see here, in this transverse, denser rear, crust reflected as crust, sorry, crust reflected as trough, trough reflected as crust. But here, crust reflected as crust, trough reflected as trough. Okay. Trough reflected as trough. Suppose we consider in longitudinal wave, in the for denser, 
compression reflected as compression, rarefaction reflected as rarefaction. That means if you compare this, this, this to see here, crust to trough, trough to crust. But here compression to compression, rarefaction to rarefaction. Here you see, crust reflected as crust, trough reflected as trough. But here compression reflected as rarefaction, rarefaction reflected as compression. This is all about reflection of the uh, waves. That means here, there is a phase change of pi radian. See here, crust to trough, trough to crust. Okay, phase change of pi radian. Crust to crust, no change of phase. Trough to trough, no change. Compression to compression, no phase change. Rarefaction to rarefaction, no phase change. But compression to rarefaction or rarefaction to compression, there is a phase change of pi radian. This is all about, that is, reflection of waves. I think you all understand this. This is all about that is the reflection of the waves. Now here we are going to see that is superposition of the waves in the next period. Thank you.